was telling them what we were going to do for this video. He said, and I quote, we're so far out of the loop, we didn't even know there was a loop. This is going to be interesting. All you have to do is wait a second. Look, it's Brooke. Today I have my grandparents here with me. I call them Grammy and Papa. But you guys can say your real names if you want to. Cameron. Papa. <laughs> I thought it would be fun if they learned a little bit about Mandela effects and conspiracy theories because I don't think they've heard of either of them. Have you guys? No, nope. no, I have not. I'm going to start off with Mandela effects. It's believed that we enter alternate realities all the time mm -hmm. and so each time we enter everything changes so like it's just slight things that you wouldn't really notice if you weren't right. paying attention. Are you awake? I'm awake. <laughs> it's called Mandela Effect because do you know who Nelson Mandela is? Yes. You do? So people have believed that he died in the 1980s in prison mm -hmm. and he actually died in December of 2013. Do you remember 1980s or do you remember 2013? I well, I remember both. I remember 2080. Yes, they did say that he had died in prison, and we all believed it. Um, we did because we didn't have any. All we had to go by was the news reports that we heard. That's weird to hear because you actually like experience that. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so you remember hearing. Both. I, I do remember hearing. So did people think that that was a lie when it came out that he died in prison? At the time, no. No, they, they really didn't. The they really thought it was the truth. It was on the news. Back then, everybody thought the news was true. First one is Oscar Meyer Wiener Hot Dogs. How do you remember the spelling bee? How do you, how do you remember it being spelled? I-T. I-T. That's how you spell it. O S C A R M E Y E R. Okay, to you. Okay. Pretty much the same way. Uh, there was some song involved with it, but I'm not sure exactly what it was. And oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. wiener. Then everyone can it. take a bite of me. <laughs> <laughs> They're both wrong. We're wrong. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is the Mandela See? effect that okay. it used to be Oscar Mayer because everybody remembers M E Y E R. Mm -hmm. And it's now, if you look on any package, it's M A Y E R, Mayer, instead of Meyer. So then they change the name. <laughs> this is no. what a Mandela effect yeah. is, though. Yeah. It's like little things that have been changed that, that have no explanation. And a lot of times, like, they didn't really change it. But I don't buy Oscar Mayer. So how would I know th what the package looks like? <laughs> Next one is Fruit Loops. Spelling. I'm being cold. Okay. <laughs> F-R-U-I-T-L-O-O-P-S. F-R-U-T-L-O-P-S. Fruit Loops. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that one was right. A lot of people oh, remember right. it being a fruit, like F-R-O-O-T, loops, because it was a, like the actual oh. loops were like mm -hmm. O's. Looney Tunes? Looney Tunes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so how do you spell that? Looney Tunes. L-O-O-N-Y. That's just Y. Yeah, just Y. Okay. T. T-U-N-E-S. Or T-O-O-N-E-S. Which do you think? T-O-O-N-E-S. From the original one? It used to be T-U-N-E-S. Okay, so Papa was right. But it's now T-O-O-N-E-S. Okay. I, right. I've watched it later with grandkids. See, it's your fault. I got it wrong. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Sex in the city. Okay. How do you not how you spell it? How do you say it? <laughs> Don't make it weird, Bob. Sex how do you in the city. Sex in the city. Ah. ah. But I didn't have any. I wasn't in the city. Original used to be sex in the city. Okay. And that's what everyone remembers, sex mm -hmm. in the city, because she was having sex in the city. In the city, <laughs> right. Absolutely. But it's now sex and the city, and it, it says that it... See, I told you. It says that it's always been sex and the city, but people have found mm -hmm. more games and stuff that says sex in the city. Okay. So, that is strange. See? It makes you think. That's right. Okay. Well, me. Hmm. Mr. Rogers. Do you know who that no. is? No. I know who no he idea. is. What does he sing? It's a... Oh, uh, what's... <laughs> It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. Or it is a wonderful day in the neighborhood. 
it could be a wonderful day. <laughs> no, that's right. That, that, that's right. That's what we all remember. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's actually always been. It's a wonderful day in this neighborhood. Oh, in this neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't so nice in our neighborhood. So it wasn't much for it. Was it was raining. No, it was so. just this neighborhood. <laughs> Are you having fun? Not yet. Oh. For scum. What is the famous line from that? For me, it would be life is like a box of chocolates. I don't remember anything they said. Okay, it actually life was like a box of chocolates. Oh, but we all remember it as life is like. I don't want to be like everybody. <laughs> so I will remember it the correct way. And this is our last Mandela effect. Thank you. <laughs> Pretend to have fun. <laughs> okay, so you all know Snow White. Yes. You did. You never told me. Yeah, that. I was the grumpy. <laughs> I can see that. What is the, the famous line in that? Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. It's actually magic mirror on the wall, which is so wrong. It's always been mirror, mirror it's on the wall. It's always been mirror, mirror. Yeah. Oh, I wrote one of those. And make it look prettier. Just have yeah. a filter over your yeah, face. Right. <laughs> yes, that would look funny. That was all of our Mandela effects. You completely shook. Do you know what that means? <laughs> shook. shook. You know, like shook. a shake. Shook. 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 So shook means like you're super surprised. No. Super, um. Yes, in a way, about certain things. Yeah. Right. You know how we have them, yes. No, I knew it was going to be wrong. Okay, well, <laughs> right. we should do that. So now on to conspiracy theory. These are supposed to be super creepy. It's just kind of like a myth about these certain things. So they kind of went with the facts and saw what So the could lying have been. media. A little bit. Some of them yeah. are. Actually, yeah. a lot of them are about the lying media yeah. Yeah, and what they told us versus what right. actually could what have actually happened. happened. Yeah. Right. You said something smart, Papa. <laughs> it's Winnie the Pooh. We're gonna start off light. We're gonna start off light. Don't give up on me here. <laughs> it's a nice cartoon that everybody watches mm -hmm. as a kid who was based on mental illnesses. Piglet was very anxious all the time, so he obviously had anxiety. Right. Tigger was hyper. He had ADHD. That's interesting. But like a, a child's version. But it, right. Yeah. Isn't that so cool? No. Oh. Well, I don't think at the time, no. You know, it's a nice thought that maybe they're trying to get across you know, some of these issues through cartoons. Mm -hmm. But as old as that is, I really don't, I don't believe it. I think it's true. Why? Because they don't put something out there without a meaning behind it. They never have, and they probably never will. You guys are doing great. Right. This is what I want, it's perfect. Just be yourself. <laughs> you don't want that. Well, you know about Marilyn Monroe, right? Right. Mon Monroe, Monroe. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe overdosed. Mm -hmm. So the conspiracy is that she did not overdose. She was actually murdered. There are a few different people people think that she's murdered by, but the main one is that she was murdered by the Kennedy brothers mm -hmm. because she was having an affair with either one or both of them. Some facts to back that up is that no pills were found in her stomach. She had nothing, no drink or anything by her bed to take pills with. When they found her, she was laying straight, her arms down by her side, her legs straight down, face down into the pillow, which is not what would be assumed for a person who just overdosed. Her window in her bedroom was broken from the inside, like going out, so the glass was on the outside, not like what they said of it being broken into by the psychologist. Do you believe it? What do you think? Yes, I've always believed that. Really? Um, I, yeah, I have. I think she did both. She was murdered, but she committed suicide by putting herself in a place where she would be murdered for it. Deep. I do agree, right. Because although she was a very troubled person from what we hear, I don't think enough to have committed suicide alone. Next one is about 9-11. The conspiracy is that 9-11 was actually done by the government to blame um, Afghanistan and Iraq for these terrorist acts so they could go to war with them for no reason, basically. The World Trade Center collapsed, not like a plane flew into it and that's why the whole thing collapsed, but it collapsed almost like a demolition. So when a building's going down, a building doesn't like go to the side, you know, it has to go straight down, like level for level. And if you watch videos, there's actually like a video of it going down, just like a, a demolition would be. At Pentagon, there was a 16 foot hole left that was supposedly where the airplane flew into it, but that's not possible when airplanes are 125 feet. I think you're half right. Okay. It was no much terrorist, but it was allowed to happen by our government and they helped it along 
as you say, with explosions. Bring it down to terrorize our people so they will back them to do what they want to do. I, I do agree with that because they would have known about the terrorist. And they allowed it And they allowed it to happen, which they could have stopped it. The next one is that the Titanic never sunk. It was actually a ship called the Olympic that sunk. It was on its last leg. It was about to break down and they're gonna lose a lot of money on it. So they decided to switch the names of the Titanic and the Olympic, take the members that had bought to go on the Titanic on the Olympic to get their insurance money. The Olympic had 16 portholes and the Titanic was supposedly only supposed to have 14. And if you look mm -hmm. at pictures on the Titanic, the day it left, it has 16 portholes. Apparently nobody wanted to work on the Titanic because there was a rumor going around in that town that the Titanic was going to sink. Why would they not want to work okay. if there wasn't that rumor? No, I've not heard that theory. Okay. I well, what not. theory have you heard? Uh, my thing is that I did believe it sank, but I believe it was because they were so convinced that it was unsinkable, that the crew was not observant. What do you think? It was sabotaged. It went down on purpose. Coal bin had a hole in it mm -hmm. that they were trying to patch as they were going. And when they hit the iceberg, the doors would not close to close off the water on purpose. And that's why it went down. What do you think about the theory that I told you? I think it's crap. Okay. <laughs> Brutally honest. <laughs> this last one is just kind of a light one. Apparently, there are crisis actors that travel the world to be in the spots where there are crises happening. Just to be on camera so that the actual people who have suffered don't have to go on the news or on camera. Mm -hmm. Now, I've heard that the conspiracy is that it's for the people or that it's so that they spread either news that isn't true or news that the news has concocted. And there's so much proof on this. Like people actually have recorded like a man doing one interview like with a hat on then like a year later the same man like with longer hair like how would he possibly be in two different crisis locations i think that's very possible yeah the news will do anything to get ratings you know that's whether true. it's the truth or it's not the truth yeah you know? i think it's all staged they put out what they want you to hear and that's it just like in a movie was this harder on you than on us? It might have been. I had to do most of the talking and explaining. I hope you enjoyed watching my grandparents react to Mandela effects and conspiracy theories and creepy things and giving their opinions on it. I feel like their opinions were actually really well thought out. Thank, Thank you guys for being on with me. I love you guys. Mm. Love you. If you guys ever want them in another video, comment down below and I'll make them do more. They'll probably say, oh no, don't You don't, don't. pay enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay at all. Oh. Make sure to thumbs up this video and what else should they do? Share it. Yes, you really should subscribe to this one. She's fantastic. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye.